Super Bowl 50 will be played in the heart of Silicon Valley, and the pressure is on to live up to the area's high-tech reputation. Luckily, it's being hosted at Levi's Stadium, the most high-tech football stadium ever built with 400 miles of cables, almost 700 security cameras, and a Wi-Fi box under every 100 seats. So you couple the Wi-Fi infrastructure with our DAS system, our distributed antenna system, where all five mobile carriers are on that system, we feel like we can get 70,000 people, whether it be on Wi-Fi or cellular, to be able to use their phone. For the first time for a Super Bowl, CBS, the parent company of CNET, will incorporate eight pylons containing 16 cameras in the end zones. It's a field selfie camera that looks back at a wide receiver who's about to break the plane of the goal line. And there are upgrades to the 36 camera replay system called iVision 360 that lets CBS freeze and rotate the images. On the sidelines, teams will be using Microsoft Surface tablets to look over plays despite trouble with the system during the AFC Championship game. We will have uh, Microsoft Surfaces in place uh, on both sidelines. In the stands, fans can tap the Super Bowl 50 app to order food for pickup and have drinks delivered to their seats. Even fans not going to the big game can have a high-tech football experience with interactive games and exhibits at the NFL Experience and Super Bowl City. It was amazing. There's a 40-yard dash where you race against a virtual player and a photo booth that transforms your picture into a Hall of Fame bust. Fans are also seeing football in a whole new way with 3D virtual reality. It gives the ability to be literally standing on the line of scrimmage on the sideline of the field and have the experience of being there the entire game. Technology brings fans even closer to the action. In San Francisco, Brian Tong, CNET.com for CBS News.